In this video, we're gonna be setting up a time series database called InfluxDB. InfluxDB and time series databases in general are handy if you have lots of data and metrics that you wanna monitor and analyze. This video is gonna be a little bit different than my other technical videos because we're going to avoid using the terminal to do anything. Despite InfluxDB being obviously technical in nature, we're going to install it and set it up without opening a single terminal window. So if you're looking to install InfluxDB, you probably already know what it is. But InfluxDB is the database portion of the Tick stack, which is a comprehensive open source monitoring and alerting stack. It's important to note for this video that I am setting up InfluxDB 1.7. 2.x is slated to be quite a bit different than the current solution, so... If you're watching this video and InfluxDB 2.x is the de facto version, this video is probably not going to be very useful. Also, we're not just going to be installing InfluxDB, but we're also going to be installing Chronograph and Telegraph. Capacitor is a service that's used for data processing and alerting stuff, but it won't be included in this video. First things first, let's download the required services. We'll need to download InfluxDB, Telegraph, and Chronograph. Even though Influx provides the terminal commands to download them and install them straight from the terminal, we're going to download them from the browser and install them via the software manager. Each service is installed as a daemon. On Ubuntu, Telegraph and Chronograph are enabled by default through System D. however InfluxDB is not. Which makes sense because it would be kind of crappy if your database engine automatically started up as soon as you logged in. Again, you could use the terminal with systemctl to enable and start the service, but we're going to use the KDE Service Manager to do that. Once InfluxDB and Chronograph are running, we can open a browser and visit localhost 8888 to access the Chronograph UI. The defaults in the InfluxDB connection section here are fine. For the dashboards, I'm going to select the system dashboard to kind of show off some of the InfluxDB metrics. And since we're not doing anything with capacitor in this video, that is all the configuration required to bootstrap InfluxDB. And believe it or not, that's it. InfluxDB and the services are installed and ready to go. Now in the real world, you likely wouldn't have all three services running on the same machine. I mean, you'd probably have Telegraph running alongside InfluxDB because you probably want to capture the metrics and things associated with InfluxDB and the host. But for example, at my work, we have InfluxDB running on a separate cluster of instances along with Chronograph having its own dedicated cluster of instances. There's a Telegraph that runs alongside the InfluxDB and the capacitor, along with all of the hosts that we want to monitor. Telegraph can scrape metrics from, like, pretty much anything, but if you want to capture metrics from the host, you generally install it and run it on the host machine. If you want to capture metrics from, like, Elasticsearch, you could run it anywhere and just change the config file to look for your Elasticsearch. But that's a topic for another video. And that's actually going to wrap this one up. This ended up being a lot quicker than I was expecting, but InfluxDB is a pretty darn cool stack. It's easy to install and get running. If you're familiar with other monitoring solutions like Prometheus, it's very similar but different. I encourage you to check InfluxDB out because I think that it's going to be pretty darn popular in the next few years. And if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you like what I do, you can support me on Patreon or Coffee, whatever you like. I also have a discount code through Linode. You can go to linode.com slash eg and get a nice credit for starting up your account. I appreciate all your support and thanks for watching.